Drinks are on me someday. <laughs> Good showing, everyone. Was Emma even here? Welcome back, one and all, to Trails of Cold Steel. I am the Dark Seraph. Uh, down, 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 up, 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 down, 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 up, up, up. Last time, we just completed Chapter 6, and it looks like In the, the Imperial weeks, Liberation Front is dead. It was hard to tell how much the Empire's situation was shifting, but one thing was certain. Changes were happening. With the death of their ringleaders, the Imperial Liberation Front's campaign of terror was finally over. Yeah, they're dead. And in recognition of our actions in Ruhr and at Corellia Fortress, all of us in Class 7 were invited to Valflame Palace. Maybe. There, probably. we were granted the honor of an audience with His Majesty the Emperor, Eugen III. Along with Empress Priscilla, the mother of Princess Alfin and Crown Prince Cedric. But no sooner had we been thanked than we came face to face with the leaders of the factions that divided the nation. The heads of the four great houses who rule their vast provinces with absolute authority. Their asshats. And the Chancellor and his close ally, Governor Regnitz, who brought reforms to Heimdall and expanded the railways. Both sides were quick to offer us words of praise, but just as quickly turned to criticize each other's role in the crisis. Eventually, His Majesty was forced to step in and rebuke both sides, clearly disgusted by their behavior. As it stood, the terrorists' defeat made it difficult for their supposed supporters in the noble faction to act openly, while Crossbell's push for independence was causing enough of a stir over there to keep the reformists busy. With both sides tied up, it looked like the Empire was in for a long overdue respite from its perpetual conflict. We'd finally gotten all the details for our concert performance worked out, and Elliot announced that we'd be doing two songs, a duet between Machius and Eusis, and a solo by Emma. <laughs> Machius and Eusis? Well, that's interesting. To no one's surprise, all three of them were quick to raise objections. I mean, Emma's kind of shy, and... I don't, I don't picture Machius or Eusis being the musical type, to say the least. Not that they can't work together or sing together, but they don't seem the musical type to me. But after Crow and Elliot explained their choices and how their master plan would win over the audience, the rest of the class was totally on board, leaving our new vocalists to resign themselves to the inevitable. Unfortunately, with the good times came some sad news as well. It turned out that Marquis Rogner was furious at Angelica for her part in what we did at the mine, and as a result, she was forced to leave the Academy. Contrary to the official statement, her withdrawal was to be permanent. Before she left, she asked me if I'd look after the Orbal bike for her. At first, I didn't want to. It felt like I'd be accepting that she'd be gone. But after thinking it over, I finally agreed. With so much going on, we decided to take Prince Oliver up on his proposal of a brief vacation north in Ymir. Hmm. It proved to be quite an eventful trip, and it really drove home just how much we'd come to mean to each other. I'd tell you all about it, but we'd be here for hours. Maybe another time. A good way to say we don't have time for exposition. Exposition, exposition. Anyway. Into October. Well into October. Festival preparation, day one. Well, there's Mint. Recognize her by her hair and the two crazy sisters. Could I have your attention, please? It's another great day. Perfect weather to start bringing all your great festival ideas to light. Some of you have been preparing since last month, and some even longer. I know you're all itching to get started. 
So without further ado, I hereby declare the first day of festival preparation begun. Time to start setting up. We have today and tomorrow. She's so we'll excited! Try not to work until tomorrow night unless you really have to. She is so excited. It's adorable. All right, everyone. Let's do this and stay safe out there. All the nobles and commoners are working together and seeming to get along well enough. Of course, they, if they're all in clubs together, that makes sense, but I think that's a bracer. It's not Tobol, but it's got a bracer look to him. Maybe I'm crazy. It's probably that I'm crazy. Thank you all for the effort you've put in over the last two weeks. It's been exhausting. He said it. I don't think I realized how much work this would involve. I know how exhaustion feels. I was I was over exhausted from the weekend of work. I work weekends, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, in that order. So I got plenty of time to pump these videos out. Elliot's a merciless taskmaster when it comes to music. <laughs> it's like he unleashes the beast within. Well, he is a musician, and he is the bard. Sorry, I just really want this performance to be as best it can be. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I'm sure it'll sound great. <laughs> Well, the songs are coming out together quite nicely, I admit. Are we seriously going to do that? Are we? Give it up already. Emma's song is really sounding great. Agreed. You'll be quite the sight on the stage yourself in your outfit. The boys will be under your spell. <laughs> Poor Emma. Not me. Yeah. That's the worst part. Speak for yourself. I've never felt so humiliated in my life. Haha. <laughs> Sounds like you're all having the most gosh darn time. I almost hate to interrupt. Hello, Sarah. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. I'm afraid the statute of limitations is expired on that one. You know, a little bird told me two people who might be in this room right now had a rather intimate experience that day. Ooh, ooh, tell me, tell me. Well, it's nothing worth mentioning. How did you, how did he find out anyway? <laughs> well, shall we go our separate ways for today then? Yeah, our costume should be coming in this evening. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
I got busy work to do. Yeah, what is it? One's required, two are non-required. Mail mix-up, slipping the mines. Okay, that's... That shouldn't be too bad. Big of a deal. We read the comments! Oh boy, you should not read the comment section. Ever! In videos. They either contain spoilers, racial profanity, or spam. Occasionally you get helpful advice or just people sharing their experiences, and that's always great to see, but you're gonna find those comments in larger videos. Radio Trista, mail mix up, okay. Okay. Yeah. She's liable to just to break out of her house, say screw you to her father, and leave. Toa! Okay. Let's get to it! Okay. Yep, this is the final chapter. Male mix-up. Outside class two's second year classroom. Okay. There's a lot of setup that uh, might be on the ground floor. It is. You're Beatrix, right? No, Bridget. Yeah, I've got a minute. Oh god, the girl with the lips. Will you please take the lipstick off? That is just uncomfortable to look at. Cones? Check on the second floor where there's a lot of setup going on. Nope. It will be on the school grounds. And it will be marked, or at least it should be marked. It'll be just outside. Okay. Where are the stairs? There they are. Training field. This 
That would actually make a lot of sense. Cones, the riding club. Use the map, folks. It's there for a reason. What's up, nerd? Oh, you're the vice principal. find his book, his journal. Who, what, what's, oh god. Books, um, nobody out here, maybe in town, like, I don't know, probably the bookstore. Newly printed books. Bookstore. Oh gee, I wonder where the books are supposed to go. God, when you actually think about it, it makes me feel like a freaking idiot for not realizing it sooner. Radio Trista, so it'll be back at the school. The Union Building. Probably the school store. It'll be on the second, it'll be on the next level. The Literature Club, that makes sense. Of course. It's just a trend right now. Ornaments expensive. My guess is it'll probably be the noble kids. Oh, there's Machias. I won't bother him. We've all got things to do.
maybe the dormitories. marked on the map. Okay, they're the ones who need their ornaments. EP charge times three of them, okay. Well said. Okay, rooftop. makes things even more complicated. Perhaps the old schoolhouse. This way. Yep. Hello, boys.
Okay, it's not really mine. Wait, her? Uh, can I actually look at that? No. Little disappointing, but that's okay. Let's just get this back to the vice principal. Da -da 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 -da. Where are you? This way. Well, I didn't, at least. woman in a skimpy outfit. Yeah. Okay, he's a... That's... That's a thing. Okay, none of my business. Okay! Dude, shut up already! Rita Maxo. Golden Bell. Okay. And now he's just gonna go sit down. Okay, now let's go to Radio Trista. I believe, yeah, this is where the pond is. Garden club setting up. There's Edel? Edel? She looks cute in a sun hat. That all I have to say on that. There's the Orville bike. One, five, in the Occult Research Society. Okay, just gonna talk to three people. They were all gonna be at the school. Which is at the auditorium. Ferris.
Wow, you're a bitch. Okay, I don't really care about what you're doing. Gymnasium next. I know where the occult girl is, so I'll just skip on that one for now. Here's the gymnasium. Giant whack-a-mole. get him last if it's on the way back to Trista anyway. Let's go to the student union building. Wrong way. I just hope I don't have to go into the old schoolhouse. I don't really feel like thinking right now. Fight with Seed was just brutal. Somebody had to silence them. But it makes me wonder who. Probably an Iron Blood. Am I guessing it was it was Scarecrow? As they call him, I can't think of his name right now. Speak of the devil. Mm. I don't care about your comment, just give it to me. Just give me the damn paper. And I'll go turn it in. Getting a little tired, if you couldn't tell. Well, let's go get these comments where they need to go. That's all. Great, thank you. Okay. Now let's get back to the main school building. Oh my god, we're going for 35 minutes now. Well, close enough to 35 minutes anyway.
Okay, what do you need me to do? The Medal of Compassion? Wait, I just came down here for a medal? Okay, there we go. Just pass out the slips, okay. Just gotta go track everyone down. Nicholas, Charlotte, Hugo, Becky. Oh, one's just right out in the hall. Oh, excuse me. And it's Charlotte. Perhaps the second floor. Yes. Oh, Milliam! Okay, general store. Special cookies. Hot chili pepper cookies. I mean... That could actually be potentially good. I'm not gonna lie, I would probably try one if Milliam handed it to me. We all have our kryptonite. Okay, Hugo and Becky are arguing. Just take the goddamn slips! idea. I'd probably just go to both food stalls if I'm being completely honest. B. Well, she's part of the garden club, so... Oh, Emma's in here as well as Elisa. There's your permission slip. Okay. She was a medical officer? Interesting. Makes sense why she's a nurse. Go to the right location. Can I get some voice acting, please? This is delicious. No. Nope. A special blend. Hmm. That's so. I'm so different, I can't even compare the two. Huh. Yeah, that's interesting. I don't fit in costumes. Okay, today. 
Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Kala Gem. Interesting. I don't know what to do now other than go back to the dorm. Or the old schoolhouse, maybe. That is where we're supposed to practice. Hello, Reen Schwarzer speaking. Yo, it's me. Oh, hey, Crow. Is something wrong? It's not like you to call out of the blue. Well, we've run into a bit of a problem. Turns out our outfits for the concert will be arriving late. They said the earliest they can get them delivered is sometime tomorrow morning. That's not great. I mean, it'll be hard to do tonight's dress rehearsal without the actual dress. My thoughts exactly. But don't you worry, though. I'm just as crafty as I am handsome, so I've got a plan. Want to head out and pick them up for us in person? Sure. Uh, Pro, I think the two of us need to go over the definition of plan sometime. <sighs> you ordered them from a boutique in Heimdall, didn't you? Yeah, someone over there is putting the finishing touches on them right now. They'll be done by this evening, so our whole delivery problem is solved if you just head over there. Yeah, I've got the order. I do it myself, do it. but I've got some stuff I need to get done. Got it. I'll take care of it. I'll head to the station right now. Wouldn't want to miss the train on something this time sensitive. Whoa there, the train? Come on, man. Don't tell me you forgot about Jellica's parting gift. Yep, the Oracle oh. bike. You're right. It'd probably be faster to get to Heimdall by bike than by train. Okay, bike it is. Besides, if I cut down on my travel time, I can put more work into the festival. <laughs> Even when I give you something cool to do, you find a way to make it dorky. Oh yeah, uh, you should take someone with you too. You're bringing 11 outfits back here, and that's not exactly going to be easy on your own. That's true. It'll be a lot easier with the sidecar too. Okay, leave it to me. Cheers. Okay, I guess I've got a little more wiggle room to help out around here. I'll head to the engineering club to ask George to lend me the bike once I'm done. Okay. Well, it's not like George can lend you a bike that Angelica gave you. That was her bike. She gave it to you, Reen. Okay. Let's do it. did say I should take someone else along to give me a hand. Not sure how busy everyone is, though. Let's see. Who should I try asking first? Milliam said she wanted to ride on it. Let's call Milliam. Alright. Might as well see if they're free. I haven't forgotten. Hey, it's Reed. I've got a little favor to ask. you like it. Just to make sure, it's okay for you to come out with me, right? You don't have some cooking club responsibilities you just shirked to go off on an adventure, do you? Pshaw, don't sweat the small stuff. Besides, I only ever help by eating all the food anyway. And on top of that, I want to see these costumes of ours! 
I guess that makes sense, given that you're going to be right in the spotlight next to Emma. That's the idea. The outfits are supposed to be super revealing, right? No. I'm already excited to get two heaping eyefuls of Emma. <laughs> I don't know if you saw some of Crow's early designs or what, but these aren't quite as risque as you're expecting. You were hanging out with Angelica, weren't you? To be honest, they're probably not even as revealing as the outfit you wear out on missions. Huh? Really? Aw, oh, man. I was hoping mine was gonna be super sexy. You are 13, girl. Not even Crow would design you an outfit like that. I think I pronounced that right. Vancure? Vancure? I don't know. The Sage Head Store. Sorry to make you kids come all this way to pick these up. I think you'll be pretty happy with the way they turned out, though. I can't wait to see him! Thank you very much for making these on such short notice. <laughs> this was no sweat compared to what Crow put me through last year. He had me working like a madman. Last year's concert was great, though, so you can bet that I'll be there to see if you kids can top that. Oh, by the way, you're one of the backup dancers, aren't you? I wanted to make you an outfit that'd bring your energetic nature front and center. This should suit you perfectly. I was wondering, I wonder if there, there's definitely gotta be ultimate dialogue depending on who you bring. Energetic, huh? So you're the reason I don't get to wear anything sexy. What? Er, please just ignore her. That's what we do. <laughs> Bird. That is what that is. What the? Probably best not to worry about it. Uh, Reen, hello? What are you spacing out for? <laughs> it's nothing. There was just a strange bird on that lamppost over there. What kind of strange bird? I've never seen a bird with feathers that color before. It was a really deep blue, almost like lapis lazuli. I don't know what that is, but I've probably never seen a bird like that either. What do you think it's up to? I have no bird idea. Stuff? Oh, what do we have here? Mishy? No, that's... Viva Colette. V... I mean, Misty. Hmm? It's been a while, hasn't it, Rain? Thanks for not using my real name. If people here in the capital were to overhear you, I'd be drowning in fans in no time flat. <laughs> sure. Mum's the word. Fancy meeting you here, though. I assume you're here to shop? You guessed it. This store does have a branch in Trista, but this one has a much better selection. What about you? Why are you lugging two suitcases around? <laughs> hmm. You two getting a jump start on a romantic weekend getaway? You, she wishes. Sure are! No, we aren't! <laughs> I love you, Milliam. Before you drag my name through the mud. Wow, a concert, huh? That sounds like a blast. I'd love to drop by the festival and see it myself. Hmm, I might be able to go if I can free up a bit of space in my schedule. <laughs> It'd be great to have you. Although I can't imagine a professional like you would be terribly impressed. Oh, don't be silly. Great music comes from the heart. Great, 
written music comes from the heart. Performance is another thing. Whoops, lost track of the time. I better get going. Well, bye for now. Be sure to tune in tomorrow. Of course, I always do. Uh, that was the famous opera singer lady just now, right? Vita Clotilde? What's up with the whole Misty thing? Well, you see... She does a radio show using a stage name. Oh, the secret identity thing is so cool! But doing a radio show? That's the least stealthy thing I've ever heard! How come nobody's noticed they have the same voice? No idea. <laughs> it took me a while to figure it out too, believe it or not. Hold on. Tomorrow's Friday, right? But don't they only broadcast Abend time on Sundays? Hmm... Could it be what I think it is? Milliam? Oh, it's nothing. Why don't we head back to Trista? Sure. Everyone's probably waiting for us. We all still need to try on our outfits, too. And I got a bond point. Cheer and powerful strike. Could have brought Elisa along just for the sake of shipping, but Milliam said she wanted to ride on the bike, and I got her to ride on the bike. are actually really nice. Oh, they're a bit more revealing than I would have chosen, but at least the design itself is reasonably tasteful. And now Elisa looks like a Playboy bunny. I need to take the ears off before the concert. I hope I get the chance to. Yep, not bad. And the black makes us look all classy, too. Oh, what am I even doing in this getup? Wow! That makes your boobies look even bigger! <laughs> wow, you look stunning. That's seriously hot. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have trusted the boys. No, you shouldn't have trusted Crow. I think it's perfect. And letting your hair down adds just the right amount of mystique. Nice work on the styling, Sharon. <laughs> Thank you, my lady. I think you all look beautiful. Wow. You all look even better than I was hoping. Well, well. You all look the part of dashing gentlemen yourselves. I try. It seems like you took your inspiration from the traditional dress of the Imperial Court. You look like rejected princes from a children's book. But it kind of works. <laughs> Thank you, Fee. <laughs> I feel a little bad for you guys. Your uniforms don't have those little personal touches like ours do. Well, Crow designed them, well, so... Well, considering the time we had to work with, we had to settle for all us guys just wearing the same thing. Eh, no one's gonna care what the guys are wearing. That's what I figured. It's better to bring out each girl's charms and let the boys just sort of fade into the background. That's called knowing your audience, boys and girls. He's not wrong. <laughs> I see how it is. We're all different heights and have different hair colors, so I think we're better off with a standardized look. K-pop 
They look like a K-pop band. I'm no stranger to cuffs, epaulets, and overdone embroidery. But it looks preposterous to see you wearing such finery, even if it is just a costume. You sis, why do you gotta be a dick? Hey, I didn't ask for this! What sane man would want to dress like a noble? Besides, I hope you haven't forgotten that we'll be singing in these outfits, together. Sadly, despite my earnest attempts, I haven't. <laughs> All right, are you ready to practice the night away? We've only got a day and a half left, and that's if you include today. No time to waste. And that's why none of us are leaving this building until we can do a perfect run through of our whole set. I don't think he's going to take no for an answer. You're like a drill sergeant when it comes to music. I hope you're not starting to take after Nightheart. Uh, we're not sleeping tonight, are we? Probably not. <laughs> I'll be sure to bring you all a nourishing dinner later this evening. That's not the problem here. Well, I suppose there's not much more we can do than buckle down and give it our best shot. Fine. I suppose I'll just have to cast my shame to the wind and go through with it. Aww. <laughs> Poor Emma. No, seriously, the bunny ears look too natural with that outfit, and I think I need to remove them. It's not like I want to Emma? wear an outfit like this, but I might never get a chance again, so come on, Emma, just grin and bear it. Emma? Oh no, I think we broke Emma. <laughs> Maybe we ought to leave her be for a while. Well, I'm going to end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Trails of Cold Steel as... I guess we have a concert. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph. Signing off. Oh my god, I've been going for almost an hour. Shit.